Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to the season finale for season 2 of Conquering the Euro with OGC Nice. And today we have an absolute whopper so do not go away. We can finish anywhere from 5th to 9th. It is so, so close. There are two games to go. Lille are in the 5th place with 61 points. Saint-Étienne and Nantes and Stade Rene are in 6th, 7th and 8th on 59 and we are just behind them. With 58 points. We've got to play against Toulouse today. Which should be a free point. But it's going to be a very tough game afterwards. Against Monaco. In this game though. Uh, Nantes are playing against Lille. So at least one of those teams are going to drop points. Really I'd like. I would like Nantes to win that. Obviously if we win. Then that leaves us one point behind all of them. And we will go ahead of Lille. And Saint-Etienne today. Are playing against uh, Lorient. And Stade Rene are playing against Dijon. Uh, in the last game. Uh, Saint Etienne are playing against Reims. They did beat Leon in the last uh, Lille in the last game, so that could be a tough one. We've got Monaco, as I mentioned. Stad Rene are playing against Nantes. I think I've mentioned everyone. Lille have got Nimes, so could be tough. Let's have a look though at the last few games and how we've got on. Um, admittedly, I've hardly shown you any of this season. I do apologise for that. It's just the way it's gone. It's been, it's been very strange that we've had big gaps between games, but. Because it's been one of those where you can see, ever since January, we've played five games a month, four games a month. It's just purely been league football. And knowing that we haven't really been in the battle, there's not been that much to show you. Uh, you guys saw the PSG and Leon matches in the last episode. Um, since then, we've had three wins out of four, which is great. We played against Marseille at home. I thought that could have been a tough game, and it definitely was. But uh, we managed to win that game four goals to three. Marseille took an early lead, and Gravelon and Crivelli made it 2-1. Uh, whoever that is, Kambwala made it 2 each, but Crivelli got a very quick goal to make it 3-2. It was very nearly 4-2, but the Kasper Dolberg effort was disallowed. So it was 3-2 till there was 20, 10 minutes to go, and Savage scored for Marseille. I thought, oh, here we go. Marseille are going to go and win it now. But then Deji Satona got a winner, so a big three points there. We then, rather annoyingly, went and lost away from home against Bordeaux. We then beat Saint-Étienne in the last second. 96 minutes in, Kasper Dahlberg got a goal. Saint-Étienne are a good side, to be fair. And then we beat Angers by five goals to one in the last match. So, as I said, that is where it leaves us uh, in League 1. We have signed a few youngsters, by the way, between episodes, um, which I'll probably talk about more as we enter next year. But Sazmaz and Dota have both joined the club, both feeling like good players. Um, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, here we go for the first game of today's episode against Toulouse. It's really all or nothing here. Now, this is the side I've been playing for the last few games. We've reverted back to the 4-2-3-1 formation because I think that we were leaving ourselves a little bit open at the back with the 4 triple 2 um, We'll put Fernandes on instead of Truce de Kong. He's now got a, uh, a problem with suspension. But we've got Bernardoni, Latomba, Fernandes and Soki. This will be his last two games today because he's joining Brighton in the summer and Ristic at the back. Mokaina and Shalaber in the midfield with Ndoy, Palmer and a, a fresh... Coleman after a big injury, Coleman's back into the side. And our main striker now is Deji Satona. I mean, he's he's been brilliant. He scored, I think, 16 goals this year. Apologies if there's a bit of a glare, by the way, from the TV. I have got the uh, the snooker on in the background. Uh, right, I think we say, after we won 5-1 last time, I want you to go and pick up on where we left off. I do worry about this one a little bit. Because it's away from home, our away form isn't great. And we need a big three points here. We really do. Uh, a few changes for them. They're not in the best form, which is good. Our form's actually pretty decent. We struggled at one point, didn't we? Um, but no, our form's actually pretty decent. Three wins in five. As you can see, the table is so, so close between fifth and ninth. We know we're going to finish at least ninth, which is an improvement on 13th last year. As I understand, if we finish fifth, we get Europa League football. And if we finish 6th, we get your Europa Conference League football. That's as I understand it. But things have changed because Monaco won the Cup and they've got a Europa League place. It's potentially only down to 4th place. But we'll deal with that as it comes. Basically, all we need to worry about, win the two games we've got, and that's all we can do. I talked a lot about in the last episode that we can't really change what's happened in the past. All we can do now is have a good end to our season. And dice to Satona. That's the problem with only having one striker. There's no one really there. But a cracking ball from Cole Palmer into Florian. Florinelli. Even Florinel Coman. I haven't mentioned his name very often. And a lovely ball. An absolutely beautiful ball from Cole Palmer. I was going to say that one of the problems with having one striker is very isolated up front. But Satona playing a wide role. And a lovely ball in over the top from Palmer. I've seen so many teams do that to us. And I'm thinking, oh, it's so annoying when... They do it to us. We don't necessarily do it to other sides. But a cracking goal there from from uh, Coman and a great assist from Palmer. 
But our Toulouse going to come straight back into it. I'd love to get two nil up. It just decreased the pressure a bit. But I feel like this is going to be one one straight away. But a good save there from Paul Bernardoni. He's got some interest from Crystal Palace for about eight million. I'm hoping he doesn't go, but I suppose you never know. This could be two nil. Cole Palmer to Indai. Indai runs wide. Is he going to have a shot? He is, and it's pretty tame from there. He could have squared it across. So as you can see at the moment, we jump into sixth, just one point behind Lille. If it all stayed like that. Be nice and rosy. We were just one point off potentially finishing fourth uh, in terms of the permutation. So Monaco haven't had a great season. If we look at that as it stands and we end up finishing 11 points behind second, I think I'd have took that at the start of the year. It's just because it's so close between everybody else that we're, we're quite a way down. And this has been a transition season. There's, there's no doubt about that. We admitted that from the start. So if we can finish, I, I would love to finish in the top six. So a bit... I don't think it will happen. I mean, that's shocking. That's shocking defending. So, to lose, make it one each. That's not going to help. I fear uh, the Monaco match. You know, we, we can win this one and great, but I don't think we're going to do it against Monaco. And starting a few points behind the rest, we might struggle. And all of a sudden, from being up to sixth, because results have gone the way of other teams, we're now back down to ninth. So, we really need to win this one. Really do. Bernardoni. Twin Soccer. Obviously, after the two games today, we'll have the end of season review. And then Tuesday, you'll see the start of season three. But that is a terrible pass. We st seem to start so well. And uh, we've conceded one and we're not playing brilliantly now. Shalaba, can we get one before the break? That would just decrease the heart rate just a tad. And Math Endai, Makaina. Good ball into Endai. Shoots. Oh, it's just too tame. That's the problem with Endai. It always has been. Always has been. He's, he's, he's not a good... He's not a good uh, shooter, ultimately. His finishing's not great. So one each at half-time. Uh, we have been the better side. I'm going to pump fists and say, um, yeah, we deserve to win this match. Let's go and do it. It didn't really make much of a difference to the lads, it seems. But we certainly do need a win. A lot can change before half for full full-time. So I'm not going to look at though that table much. Full-time is where it matters. But St Etienne have just dropped two points. It seems everyone is kind of doing the same drawing, which... Again, okay, doesn't really help anybody out, does it? We really need to take the uh, impetus, if you like, and uh, go and win this match. We'll bring Mokaina off because he's got a yellow card. And we'll probably leave it there for the moment. I think with 20 minutes to go, unless something happens in the next minute, which it hasn't, I'm going to bring... Oh, see, I was gonna, I'm going to bring Satona off for Mofi. Tough, you know. Palmer can be tired. I'm not bothered about that. But we really need to win this match. If we don't, I don't think we're going to do it. But can Coman come up with something... Jorge Fernandez very close to making it 2-1. Ultimately, we haven't done enough in the rest of the season. I know it's a very obvious statement to make, but we haven't done enough in the rest of the season. That's why we're really scrapping for this place now. But this isn't looking good. It really isn't. It really isn't looking good for us. Because if we only draw today, we're going to be three points behind fifth and sixth. And, uh, well, we really take it into their hands. If we can win this, we jump into seventh. But it's not going to happen, is it? I don't think. We've got a few minutes left. We're just going to have to get everyone to attack. If we lose, you know, it uh, doesn't really mean anything, I suppose. We might as well just go for the jugular. We might as well just go for it. <sighs> it's been a poor game. It has. It's really been a poor game. I'd have expected more from the lads. A few minutes to go. It's going to fizzle out into a draw, this is. Oh... I think that's us finished, folks. That's uh, that's gutting. Really is. You can see now, 5th and 6th do get European football. I don't think we're going to do it because Stad Rene, don't they play Lille or somebody like that? Let's just check. Stad Rene in their last match have got nonce. Okay, that's okay. Let's just work this out permutations-wise. So, Stad Rene and nonce draw... Lille and, Monica, uh, Lille and Saint Etienne lose, and we beat Monaco and we jump into sixth. <sighs> Bloody tight. Bloody tight, that is. Christ. Okay, one game to go. We've got to win it to do anything, and uh, what better way to end the season than a trip? I think we'll go. Yes, oh no, it's at home. That might help us. Monaco coming to the Allianz Riviera. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Here we are then, last game of the season. We need to win this one today. We could actually get the sack after this, you know, if we don't do very well. We've uh, disappointed the board, apparently, with the club vision objective of um, developing the best youth team, uh, youth system in the country. 
What I can do about that, I don't really know. We've changed both of the defenders today. Truster Kong and Gravelon both come in. And we've also brought Sakaria in over in Dye. And Dolberg starts ahead of Cole Palmer. Let's pump our fists and say the fans have been great for us. Let's give them what they deserve. And uh, obviously this is a derby. It's the Coates Desert derby. Three wins in the last five. Only beaten once. So we need a bit of help from, our, from uh, other teams today. The only thing we can do... Is go and beat Monaco, which won't be an easy ask. Won't be an easy ask. But let's see what we can do. The game starts. So, we win this, and we, we could just about sneak sixth. Possibly. Who knows? I thought we were going to be 1 0 down then, and we already are. This has been the problem with our season. Uh, you know, well. <laughs> I know I don't sound very surprised at this point, but we just haven't been good enough. We've shown, we've shown some real brilliance at times. But our defence has been quite poor, I think. You know, our keeper, Bernardoni, apparently has been brilliant. I don't know if it's def the defenders in front of him who have been bad. I'm not really sure. But it's not been good enough for us. But Sakaria gets the equaliser 14 minutes in. I mean, it should have really been Dolberg's goal. But Sakaria nodded the ball in. He gets his ninth goal of the season. When we go through the transfers later, I'm pretty confident we've brought some good players in. You know, I am. I think the only reason that maybe Mofi hasn't done too well is because Satona has been in the squad a lot. You'll probably see that Mofi's not had that many starts. Okay, we're back with the draw. Lille are winning their match. Lille are now drawing their match, but Nantes are now winning. So we'll we'll probably pay a bit more focus to that in the second half. Ultimately, we need to win this and hope our opponents completely fail. We can finish sixth, I think, if one of the teams does well. I.e. if Nantes win, and I think... Lille and uh, St Etienne full. I don't know, but uh, can we get a goal on the edge of half time? Oh, it's going to be the other way around, isn't it? Good stuff from Ristic to keep the ball. Truce to come. Come on, Sicaria. Latomba. Gravelon. Don't lose the ball. Makaina. Truce to Kong. Shalaba. Come on, son. Do something. Sicaria with the. <laughs> with the shot, and it's in. Two goals for Sicaria. My God, am I glad I picked him. And Dye would have divvied with that. What a finish from Sakari, who gets his 10th goal of the season. On the edge of half time, we make a one goal lead. It's 2 1. My only fear is, and this happens a lot with Football Manager, I guess it does in real life as well, it's almost a little bit too little, too late. You know, we, we can go and win this match, but because other sides have got the, uh, the control over us in terms of points advantage, it doesn't matter. You can see we're only going to finish 8th with this win. At the moment, only one point behind sixth. Again, you know, the, the whole what-if scenario comes in. And I've said that, that there's no point thinking of what-ifs. But if we'd have beaten Toulouse, you know. Begs the question, doesn't it? But it really isn't worth worrying about because the season's not about one game. Although, it, it probably is here. But it's not about one game. We've played 38 we need a bit of help from those guys around us. I think Lille uh, are winning. St Etienne have, are obviously drawing now with whoever they're playing. So we need we need uh, Stad Rene to, to get a goal and, and draw against Nantes. Because I think that would be enough then. I think it would. But obviously we need to hold up our end of the bargain here. And we can if we can make this 3-1. Lovely ball from Shallow. But to Deji Satana it's 3-1. Get in. I didn't think we'd beat Monaco. I just annoys me how we can beat Monaco and then it's one each against Toulouse. Well, we've got nothing to lose, but don't. But uh, Deji Satona, uh, he's, he reminds me a little bit of Jamie Vardy. In the way, he's just a natural goal scorer. He, he, he's effectively a poacher, but he's not. He gets the ball bang on there. Bang on, he gets it bang on like Vardy on the offside trap effectively. And he's so confident, it's brilliant. Let's try and get the latest scores. So, we need St Etienne to slip up. No, we, but yes, we need St Etienne to lose. So, Reims need to get a goal. And where's the other one? Nantes. We need, so, we need to, to finish sixth. We need Stad Rene to score. Just the one, though. <laughs> and uh, we need Stad Rene to lose. We've really done all we can do here now. It would be heartbreaking to lose out on European football by a point. It really would. It really, really would. But, uh, you know, we're going in the right direction. Whatever happens here, we finished 13th last year. And 
even if we finish eighth, you know, it's better. It's, it's an improvement. We have gone up one place. I think that's Nance. I think that's Nance who have dropped a point. Oh, that's a nasty challenge from Dolberg. That's going to be a red card for him. That's going to be a red card for Dolberg. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Well, nasty challenge from Dolberg. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to put Cole Palmer on the wing. I don't think we'll concede two. I don't. But just to make sure, we're going to come back a little bit into the defence. So, Nantes have conceded against Rene. We now need St Etienne. We need Reims to do us a big favour here. I just think it's one of those... You know, we, we could have done it in the last game, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh, please. Come on, Reims. Get a late goal. It's not going to happen, is it? We've beaten Monaco. We've done all we can do. We'll find out in a minute where we finished in the league. Brilliant result. Yeah, good stuff. And I think it's going to be seventh, isn't it? Oh, it is. That's painful. That is painful. If we'd have beaten Toulouse, we'd have been playing European football next year. Oh, that's painful. Great win, though, against Monaco. It's finished only six points behind fourth. Good result. Good result. Can't argue with that. Gutting, but, yeah, you can't argue with that. Uh, we better, yeah, uh, Shalaba, yeah. We better give him some contract talks, but... Uh, We'll be back in just a minute for the uh, end of season review. But, uh, you know, we finished seventh. All is not lost, I suppose. So here we are then. This didn't really matter last year because, well, <laughs> we weren't uh, the manager for very long. But this is our fourth, first full season in tar charge of Olympic Gymnast Club Denise. End of season review, 2023-24. to So let's have a look at the new arrivals first. Uh, Sakaria came in on a free transfer from AZ and the board are really happy with the deal to sign him. He's played 25 times for the club, got seven goals, three assists, an average rating of seven, a good signing. Cole Palmer's come in, played a little bit less than um, expected, I think, because he did have an injury. Board are quite pleased with that one. His wages are on the high side, 20,000 a week. Well, it's not the most in the world, is it? Shalaba uh, did really well. Again, good value for money. Uh, Mofi, you can see, I mean, look at that, that that's really highlights it, doesn't it? He started 11 times, came on from the bench 18 times. He's not going to be able to do a lot. Uh, Jorge Fernandez has been a brilliant signing, I think. Uh, the, the board are really happy with that. Gratruda, um, unfortunately, he came in, in in February, but hasn't been able to have been registered yet. We will make that uh, a thing when we go on to next year. Um, wages are too high for his place well there you go and obviously Glenn Durand is coming as a youngster but uh, a, a good season in the transfer market I think we've made a lot of sales I mean you know some of these the club are a bit grumpy at and etc but some of these players just wants to leave the club um, some of them we got a healthy profit on a lot of these you can see we got a healthy profit on um, in terms of the players going out on loan uh, Guisan went on loan to uh, Toulouse did pretty well in the league which, of course, is this league. And Zocchi went out on loan early on. Um, Julian Nicole is a player that uh, looks very good. He played for Angers, uh, 18 years of age. He's someone who can come into the squad next year. And uh, Parsamain, he only scored nine goals for Gilles Vicente, but he had a good season in Portugal. Not bad at all. Um, so they've suffered a disappointing campaign, finishing shy of their pre-season expectations, thanks largely to a poor run of form around November. I don't really think it's November that hurt our season. It was more this period, February and March. You know, two wins in eight, that didn't help. But our, at the end of our season was pretty good. You can't argue with that. Uh, the board is disappointed that the team only finished the top half finish. Again, you know, twist that how you want. We were one point off European football. Uh, Coupe de France, we only got to the 11th round. Disappointing. Biggest win was 5-0 against Montpellier. Match to remember was a 2-1 against Leon, and the goal of the season was from Mofi, 90 minutes in. Finances, um, the team struggles on the pitch haven't helped out the club's financial position. Okay, how we lined up then? Uh, Deji Satona definitely was the star man. We rotated the team a fair amount, our key players played a major role, definitely. Yeah, good side. The accolades, um, fans player of the season was Dolberg, young player was Satona, signing was Sicaria. Top goal scorer, Satona. Top assists and die. Interesting. So Tona making all of these records is brilliant. So that is the end of the season. Um, not too bad at all. Uh, we finished seventh. It's a shame. 
I think that this is incredibly harsh saying we've had a bad season. The, the club, the, the club aren't that bothered to be honest. They're, they're quite content uh, with how we're managing the team. And I think next year is where we really need to start kick-starting uh, this side. We finished seventh this year. We, we, I think we were predicted to finish there. Let's have a butcher. Season preview. We were predicted to finish sixth, actually. So Saint Etienne did well to beat us. Fair enough. But uh, I think that next year we need to get into that top five, that clump of five. And I think we've got what it takes. I really do think what, we, what we've got what it takes. We just need a few additions to the squad. Um, and that will really come through youngsters, I think. Well, I don't think we've got to spend much. And I think we probably need to keep this 4-2-3-1 for more of the season. We're, we were being carved open at the back a little bit too much. Uh, you can see sort of during this period, we, could, we conceded three against Bordeaux, three against Marseille, two, 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 three, five. As soon as we went back to the 4-2-3-1 system, we were conceding considerably less. And we were getting more goals ourselves, so it seems to work. But that's going to be it for Season 2 of Conquering the Euro. We'll be back on Tuesday with Episode 1 of Season 3. It'll be the 2024-25 season. We've got the Euros over the summer, so that could rock a few things in terms of players going up in value, etc, etc. But uh, it should be an interesting campaign next time out. As I said, it's been a transition period this year, but uh, not a bad one. One point off Europe, I'll take it. Thank you guys for your company this year. It's been really appreciative of uh, all the comments, likes, etc. you've been giving me. And uh, I'll be back on Tuesday for the new season. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.